Okay, man, so here's the plan. That's what we're gonna do. Because I've been trying to get this car from this, this uh, Ford Focus from the security company, apparently this is one of the areas that they have. And uh, I guess uh, I heard it from a grapevine that this guy works this area. So we're gonna do just wait at him? I'm gonna have you stand in the corner and see if he <laughs> shows up. What are you trying to say? Now that makes me feel bad because it's like, what does that mean? What are you trying to say about me? You want me to just like stand out there and stand, do nothing? Right on the corner, brother. Yeah, right, and the freaking police shows up, like, what are you carrying? Go. You're kidding me, right? No, man, that way they're gonna think that you're a hoodlum or a drug dealer or something, they're gonna call the security company. But I don't think I look like a hoodlum. I'm, I'm a, I look Mexican, but I don't look like a Mexican hoodlum, do I? You know that's not gonna work. You wanna bet? Man, I bet you lunch. Let's bet. Okay, lunch, and then you're gonna stop about the shirts and you're gonna but wear I'm not gonna stand there for freaking an hour. No, no, just, just a little bit. Right there. What corner? That corner right there. It, these are where all the sec their security signs to the company. It's security. It's all over these houses right there. I guarantee one of them are gonna call. 15 minutes. 15 if minutes. If he doesn't come in 15 minutes, I win the bet. 15 minutes. And I don't have to wear the shirt. You got it. So he goes, okay. So he did the bet, we shook on it. Here we go, all right? So he gets out, he walks to the corner. All right, and the first thing I do is call up the security company. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, can you send a security company or a car just to kind of check up on him, see who he is? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that's how you want to bet. All right, gotta teach this young kid that's green a lesson, right? us that's us that is awesome sure enough security guy shows up i bet freud was like what happened because i can't believe this thing worked right so he gets out of the car and apparently he doesn't like me already what's what it is what you doing over here man um i'm working what are you doing here you're working yeah i'm working ain't nobody getting the grass cut this late at night oh really okay you got jokes now huh yeah now i'm a comedian what are yeah. you working on you, you're a security guard yeah I'm a security where's your badge guard. Where's your belt? I got everything I need to have. Really? Yeah. Well, why don't you talk to him and you can tell him everything you got. Hey. How you doing? What's going on? It's a repossession. A what? It's a repossession. No, no, no. It's a repossession, man. There's no repossession going on out it's here. It's a repo, man. No, hey, man, you sit right there, man. Sit hey, relax, right dude. Hey, put sit down right the pepper there. spray, brother. We got the same sit stuff, right okay? There. Stop being so, hey, put down the pepper spray. The repossession no, has I nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. For go around and get in the car. Am I supposed to be afraid of this guy? It looks like he's never even used pepper spray in his life before. Well, it has nothing to do with you, man. I'll hit you, I'll hit you. Dude, I hit you back. I'll hit you back. Well, you ran out of pepper spray? He was like with his pepper spray, right? Action Jackson, ready just to spray us, right? Well, guess what? He tried to pepper spray me when he realized his pepper spray didn't work. Then he turned into Barney Fife. Now he was nervous. He didn't know what to do, you know? Damn. He ran out of pepper spray, nice. You know what, okay. man? Listen, I'm gonna tell you something right now, bro. This has nothing to do with you. You know, it's got hey, everything to do with you know, me. It's, it's my the company's car. car. Freud. That's my car. No, it's the company. It's not your car. Don't to the company. Look, look leave, leave the hey, car. Hey, back up, dude. I'll spray leave, back leave up. The back car. up, man. Back leave up. Leave the car. Back man, up. Listen, listen. This is it's my a car. repossession. No. It's a repossession. Look. It belongs to the finance company. No, I've made my payments on the car, okay. man. It's a, dude, what are you talking I've about? I've made the payments on the car. Dude, you say no time for my car. Can you pick that? This is my ride. That's not your ride, man. Brother, it belongs to the I made all company. the payments on the car. Everything's You're not even, up to date. Dude, that Everything's belongs to Everything's up to date. That belongs to the security company. Now you're lying no, to me. No, man, you, you got now bad information, me, man. You got bad information. Now you're lying to me, okay? I ain't lying to you, man. All I'm the telling you, it's not your car. We got the paperwork Brother, to it. This guy was claiming that he was current on the payments, that he made all his payments up to date. So then I started thinking, hmm, maybe this company is making him pay for the car to them, and they're not making the payments. They're still getting their money, but they're not making the payments to the bank, which is typical. Here, listen, man, you calm down. There's the repossession order. Okay, <laughs> security, that's not you. You own the company? Not own the Okay, company. Then, then that tells us that it's not your car, man. Look, man, okay, I, it belongs I, to I, them. Make, I make the payments on that ride. Okay. That's my car. Okay, well, I don't know what kind of deal you got with them, but you should be making the payments. If you're making them the payments, dude, you got nailed, I'll tell you right now, you because know, we're repossessing look, look, the car. But he's saying that the company is making him make the payment, 
Which Lou mentioned to him that, dude, if that's happening, you're getting screwed. Because you're not supposed to make a, a payment on a, on a company car. This doesn't belong to you. I got an agreement set up with my boss where I make the payments. Let's, hey, there it is. The car. Back hey. up. Talk to him. Hey, hey get away from the talk, car. Hey, talk to him. Hey, get away from the car. Talk you can hurt yourself. Car. Get away with the pepper spray. Look, man, it's don't jack me car. with the spray. Don't hit me Back with the up, spray, man. man. Hurt. You tell your boy to get on my ride. Oh, don't hey, hit me with no spray. spray. Hold on. Stop. Hey, hey, that's my car, man. Bro, Jack I make the, the payments the, on this the, car. The, now the cops I make are the here. payments on now this car. Now the cops are here. Now you're going to deal with the cops. You know? Well, when the cops showed up, we explained to him what's going on. We're repossessors. And then I believe he just built up his courage again. But he has to understand the cops are not there to take sides, they're there to keep the peace. Yeah, we're going to figure this out, all right, man. We're going to figure this out. Okay, well, it looks we like the paperwork's legit. Step right here. What? They got to do their job, man. No. Like the paperwork's man, legit. you can't take my car. Oh, 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 you can't take my car. Back on, now you want to go home tonight or you want to go to jail? Up, I want my car. You want to go home tonight or you want to go to jail? No, man, I don't want to go to jail. No. Okay, I want to relax. Just relax. Just relax. Get out of my car. That car is going with them. That car is going with them, okay? We got the car, so it's a good thing. The bad thing is that he lied to me. That The camera guy tells me, you know what Lou did, right? And I'm thinking, what? Who told him that I, who, what camera guy told him that? He could have watch his mouth or he's going to be paying for lunch too. That's not cool at all. That is not cool at all. And Ford is gonna buy me my lunch, and he is gonna wear that shirt, and that's that. It's not funny, because he cheated. Anyways, this is a contact and collect with this cat. Apparently, he's a DJ, and I told him I wanted to see what he sounded like to see how good he was, because I wanted to book him for Linda's birthday. Contact and collect, we haven't done that in a long time. I know. On a rare occasion, we get what's called a contact and collect. It's not a repo, it's just a contact and collect. We just need to get a payment from him. 249 bucks, that's it. The repo costs more. Yeah, well, the contact and collect is, you know, we only charge so much for that, but if we repossess the car, we get full repo. Yeah. You know, in my opinion, this contact and collect is just a waste of time. You make no money on these things, and I don't know why Lou accepts them. So this is the address. So he's supposed to be DJing a party or something. It's a Jeep Liberty, huh? Yeah. I think that's it right here, bro. Do me a favor, check and see if that's it. I'm gonna turn around and, and block it in, that way he can't take off. As I'm walking up to the Jeep Liberty to vent it, I'm hearing all this party noise, and I see all these people over here, and I'm like, you know, I'm really not looking forward to interrupting this party. Can I help you, boss? Yeah, hold on, man. I'm gonna have you talk to this guy in a second, okay? Are you the owner of the Jeep? Who's asking? My name is Matt Birch, I'm asking you. Okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Are you Mark? Mark. Hi, Mark. Yeah, Mark? Okay. Yeah, you wanna talk to him? Luke? What's up, brother? Hey, hey, listen, we're here to do a contact and collect for the finance company. Um, they, uh, you owe them $249, so it's not much, but they, uh, they, if not, they want the car. Yeah, you know, it's, it's going smooth and easy. It was just a contact and collect, and the guy just had to write us a check, and we would have been on our way. Do you have a check? I, I can't get, I ain't got no check. Give me a check a for two forty nine. dollars that's like, all you need. I, I, right, I can't right now. I've got, I've got no other money other than what I'm making on this wedding right now. That's it. Can you go see if they give you an advance or something? Now we got to take it. I, I, I try to get as much money beforehand as possible. I'm trying to get to that point where I, where they will give me more money. Right now they told me they give me half right now, half right. at the beginning and then half at the end. I'm waiting for the other half. He wanted us to stick around because he was going to get paid towards the end of the wedding. Well, weddings can go on to two or three o'clock in the morning. I'm not in a business to be waiting around like that. I have other accounts that we have to go hit. I understand. So how, just like how much? Two hundred forty-nine bucks, man. Contact Let's, me collect. We can get it. We can, we can get it. All right, no, let's do it. Right. What is going on over here? But once we told him about the situation, he decided to take up a collection, uh, which is very noble of the guy. That was cool. Just when I thought the situation was all resolved. This big mouth woman got all involved. Now, I know this is gonna upset some women out there, but you need to stay out of men's business. Keep your damn mouth shut. But why is he going to get his wallet right now? Because we already paid you, we paid you up front. That's not what we discussed. Is that, is that your husband? Who are you? I'm the guy repossessing the car tonight. Yes, um, that is my husband right there. Okay, he uh, actually had talked to this man about fronting him some money, so uh, this could be taken care of. I don't think that happened. No, he did say that. No, 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 that did not happen. You want to go talk to him? Yes, I do. I, I don't believe you. 
I actually want to talk to you because okay. I don't know what you're telling these people. No, 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 no. This is my wedding reception. You are not welcome. I don't know you. You're not invited. Right. So you. You know what? You realize it's a public street, right? Okay, fine. We can step on the sidewalk. Okay. You are right. ruining her wedding. But you. I'm not doing anything. I'm just trying to talk to you guys. Okay. But all I'm saying is that this is my wedding reception, and you folks are not. No, 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 no. No, 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 no
we get out and you lure them to the other side. I like the other plan better. Which one? <laughs> the first one. <laughs> I did not lure them out. The good thing about it is that I have the quick pin, so I'm able just to hook and book. Uh, the problem is, is getting people out of the truck. You ready? Yeah. Right, here we go. Yep, they noticed it. They noticed it? Yeah. Come on. So Lou's starting to talk to the R.O. and tell him what's going on and, and you know, trying to calm everybody down because they start screaming, why are we getting close to the car now? I'm in the other side of the truck because I'm trying to make sure that while they're talking to Lou, since it doesn't look like they're going to want to give up the keys, I can go in the truck, lock the steering wheel, and lock the truck up so we can leave. First of all, who's the registered owner? I am, mother okay, well, Yeah, I do have a problem. You got a freaking knife. Yeah, why don't you put the knife down? Put the knife well, down, dude. The you guys gotta have bad shit. You in the wrong part of town, homie. How do you figure? You in the wrong part of town. You're in the man. Y'all know where you grew up at. You're right here. Okay. You're on this block, Look, homie. You're in the truck. Well, you know, everybody starts screaming. The guys pull out bats. Like, what's this thing with people carrying bats in the, in the back? They don't look like baseball players to me. I don't know why they carry so many bats for. You know, so that tells you what kind of people they are. We don't want no one to go to jail. If we call the cops, you guys are going to jail. Ronald, Ronald. You do what you're gonna do. We're taking it. What you gonna do? You wanna see what I'm gonna do? Yeah, take the. Nice. Get the out of there, hey. And this guy wanted to fight, and he's busting up his own truck. I'm thinking, what a knucklehead, man. You know, this guy's damaging his own truck, so what the hell is he gonna care if I repossess it or take it? So next thing you know, now we got the standoff. Hey, hey I'm 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 Coward. Yeah, now we got some back, huh? What's up, boo? You got some back. Yeah, who has the back now? Yeah. Back. 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 Okay. My name is Florian. I came to repossess a vehicle. There's a guy that has a knife. And the first thing I'm doing is got on the phone and start calling the police department to let them know what's going on and to make sure they send somebody because this is about to get ugly. So I'm expecting to hear the sound of the sirens coming down. And all I get is a very loud rumble. Yeah, right there. And luckily, I mean, this is one of the bars where Matt hangs out with his buddies and, and you know, it was that day that, that he was on his way to the bar. I came down the alleyway, I saw Lou had a bat in his hand. So I came in there hot like Steve McQueen. What's up, what's the bat? This pulled a knife on us in the back. Yeah, what's up? Story on it, brother. Right. I'm a couple months late. You want me to tell you? Come here, bro. That's why we're here. How am I gonna get to work tomorrow to pay what I got? No, that's not my problem. But I tell you what's gonna be yours? One of these guys goes to that back door. I got 40 guys coming out here right now. You wanna make a plan? Luke is in the truck, and Matt keeps talking to the guy. Now the guy is trying to calm a little bit down because now he sees that, you know, we're not alone and we got friends. And our friends are also pissed. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to these guys, dude. What I got is between me and y'all. That's right. So get what? So what are you gonna do? What do you want me to do? I want you to give up the truck. You know what, bro? I want you to give up the truck. I want you to do the right thing. Bro, I got, I got the truck. I already got it. Oh, watch out, tough guy, huh? Watch out, tough guy, huh? Catch you slipping, homie. Catch you slipping. Come right through here again, mother. Get real, All right, all right, all right, all right. Get e break first, homie. All right. Catch you slipping. All right. Give me the keys, man. We'll call it a day. Give me the keys. We'll call it a day. Man, Ronch, you don't trip. Don't do it. Don't do it. The only thing that helped us is that there was a big bluff. And we and sometimes you don't want to use this. You want to use this.